revelation experience, I heard the Lord Jesus say, No evangelism, no heaven. And if you are not evangelizing, you are scandalizing. Sins of omission can be more serious and dangerous than sins of commission most times. But many do not realize this fact. In a revelation visit experience to heaven, the Lord was introducing the apostles and prophets along with the cloud of witnesses to me. Peter, Paul, Stephen and the others were there. I was shaking hands with them and they were full of joy and smiles. No handshake on earth can have any meaning to me in this world after such an experience. These people who finished well and are now heavenly rewarded had their crowns of glory full of stars symbolizing the souls they won. The way they welcomed me so happily was beyond description. I was surprised that they all knew me so very well. Beloved, it is better to be popular in heaven because of the soul saved through you than to be popular on earth which have no eternal value and reward. Friendship of the world is enmity with God. The most surprising aspect of this all to me was when the Lord introduced a saint called Stella to me among Peter, Paul and the others. Her crown of glory was so studded with stars and it appeared to me as though hers was more than many others. There is no excuse from anybody for not evangelizing. If you and your money are not evangelizing, you are scandalizing. Anything you are not using to evangelize or save souls is useless, says the Lord. I became inquisitive when I saw the saint called Stella and proceeded to ask Jesus who she was, not having read or find the Bible. The kind of glory she was carrying was simply awesome. Jesus knew already that I will be surprised and will also ask about this saint that wasn't mentioned in the Bible but lived in our present dispensation and era. In Revelation chapter 4, a call was made to come up hither. We are in the last days of heaven's supernatural revelations and manifestations as foretold in every way for the end time harvest. The Lord is pouring out His Spirit and is waking up the 21st century falling away churches that are slumbering and snoring so terribly. Read Revelation chapter 1. Jesus began to tell me about this saint called Stella. He said that when she was on earth, she was a cripple. But despite that condition, this saint was busy evangelizing and winning souls. What a challenge! Because she could not walk, she used her buttocks to move from place to place, evangelizing. What is your excuse now? For this, she was so much honored when she finally got to heaven, her final resting place. The Lord scarcely uses the word dead because as he said, true Christians never die. This wonderful saint who despite her predicament took evangelism like her very life was holding my hand and beaming with such a glorious smile when Jesus was introducing her to me. She was in her complete celestial restored body, no more deformity. Nothing on earth has meaning in heaven like souls and only soul savers are celebrated in heaven. No one celebrates any other miracle in heaven than saving of souls because miracles are now normal to them. All Christians are meant to walk in the miraculous, not as a big deal, but as normal. In heaven, only soul winners are celebrated champions. Christ Jesus made it clear and told me to warn the Christians that anyone who takes evangelism and soul winning lightly has no part with him. Inviting people to your hell-bound church just to merely increase membership and to boast of your numerical increase is shop-right nonsense that brings no joy to heaven. Supermarket Christianity is from the pit of hell. 
Jesus said, Anyone claiming to be saved but not laboring to save others is sold. You are saved to save others. A tree that bears no good fruit shall be cut down and cast into the fire. Matthew chapter 7 verse 19 Anyone ashamed of Christ and his word before men is doomed. Mark chapter 8 verse 38 If you deny Christ before men, you are finished. Matthew chapter 10 verse 33 Every Christian is a watchman that must account for souls. Ezekiel 33 verse 6 Awake to radical true soul winning now at all cost. So much happened in the revelation experience as I have shared in some of my books. The Lord took me to my mansion and I spent some time there. He said to me, I want you to see as my witness so that you can witness to them that I have finished preparing their mansions in heaven and coming back for them as I said, but many are not yet ready. As the Lord said this, many of the mansions began to sound alarms. I asked the Lord what was going on and he replied, Many people, including ministers you least expect, are about to lose their mansions in heaven because of sin and compromise. You are here on a special assignment to warn humanity regarding eternity. Jesus showed me that Evangelism Street is the best part of heaven reserved for addicted and committed soul winners. He showed me a list of names of ministers celebrated on earth but rejected in heaven. He said, these ones have their rewards on earth and in hellfire. All ministers who the heartbeat of God which is souls is not their heartbeats are in that list no matter who they are. I am not a respecter of persons but respecter of those who follow my footsteps. I came for souls not gold. Read Revelation chapter 2. Worldliness is killing today's churches and they think it has something to do with Christianity. What most people call evangelism or soul winning today is transferring lukewarm Christians from church to church. This is just increasing the number of the pastor's goats, not the lordship, which enables them to smile to their banks while heaven is sad. Membership of any church or religion does not write your name in the book of life. You must be genuinely born again and forsake sin or you will miss heaven. Only Jesus saves. If you are not fruit bearing, your Christianity is fake. Heaven minded ministers and churches are fast disappearing from the earth. This is most dangerous. What will it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? The Lord told me to tell his people to start practicing living in heaven now as they are no more earth citizens but citizens of heaven. He said to me, you are already scattering if you are not gathering with me in soul winning. Where is your heart and your treasure? Jesus said, all the blessings that are making them fall prey to false prophets are already in heavenly places waiting for their collection. Ephesians chapter 1 says that we have been raised with Christ in heavenly places and seated with him at the right hand of God far above principalities and powers with all things under the feet of Christ and our feet because we are in him. We are already seated on the throne of authority and power in Christ Jesus. This is the last day's warning of love. Read Revelation chapter 3. I was shown how Sister Stella was celebrated when she arrived in heaven at the end of her life on earth as she slept in the Lord. If you see this and the glory this sister is enjoying now and for all eternity, you will know why the devil do not allow people to become soul winners, but keeps them busy with nonsense. All these entertainment churches and ministers plus the prosperity preachers 
are in reality hellfire embassies bringing embarrassment to heaven. After the whole experience, which I cannot narrate here but will continue in subsequent messages if the Lord permits, the Lord said to me, It is time for you to go back and share this to bring as many that are willing and obedient to heaven. I then said to Jesus that I would rather want to stay there in heaven with him. He said to me, If you do not go, many will not make it to heaven. I have chosen and ordained you to bring as many as possible here. Go and prepare my people for my return in the urgency of heaven. I have shown you your mansion and crown. I have given you also the mercy of David and that assures your return. You are very dear to my heart along with the others who are also minding the mandate of heaven to depopulate hell and populate heaven. Many have failed me and my labor shall not be in vain. Multiplied grace abound toward you. Go and bring the remnants in. He further said to me, Warn the people, they want me as Savior, but not as Lord, and this cannot be possible. Now Jesus cannot be your Savior if you don't make him your Lord. Beloved, a bride is too beautiful to carry sports and wrinkles. You are either a friend of Jesus or a slave to sin and Satan. While Jesus and the others were escorting me back, I wept until I came back to this realm. Beloved, the worst thing that can happen to you is to miss heaven and end up in hell fire after Christ has done it all for you. Making heaven must be your greatest achievement on earth. Nothing on earth is worth missing the eternal beauty and glory of heaven for. My heart bleeds for those who are still playing church and religion. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior now. Repent from sin genuinely. If you miss heaven, you will not miss hell. Look for heavenly conscious churches and ministers and connect with them now. Rapture or death could be any moment. Share this in the urgency of heaven for the time is at hand. Let it get to the ends of the earth as commanded by Jesus Christ. This great mandate of heaven's supernatural revelation is from witness Ken Paul Obieke, a living witness of Jesus Christ the only hope of glory with love to see you and others in heaven. God bless you, Maranatha. If you would like to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, why don't you pray with me? Bow your heads and pray with all your heart. Lord Jesus, I come to you today a sinner. I believe you died for me and you rose again. I ask that you come into my heart and give me a new heart of righteousness. Forgive me all my sins. I renounce Satan and every works of darkness in my life and I receive the gift of eternal life today. Thank you Jesus for saving me. Amen.